It's so exciting. Once you see one mushroom, you start getting in the zone. You start seeing more and more and more. I was just looking at this red belt down here, and all of a sudden I see a Ganoderma aplanatum, an artist conch, growing on this tree here. The Ganoderma aplanatum is related to the reishi mushroom because a few of the spores have come up and over and landed on the shell. Wow, now that is a serious macro dose of nutrients. This has got some of the best phenols, triterpenes, and polysaccharides available in the forest right here in the spore powder. If I find a whole bunch, I'm gonna take them and brush them off like so, get them into a little jar so I can take them home and eat them all winter long. Mm. It's a nice way to get the medicine out of these mushrooms without actually harvesting them. Aplanatum means shelf. Ganoderma is shiny skin. So this is a shiny skinned shelf mushroom. Not quite as shiny as the red reishi or the Ganoderma suja or organensis, but it's pretty shiny still. This is known as the artist conch. You can make pictures on them. There's two mushrooms in this forest that are Ganodermas for sure. There's the suja, which we're hoping to find, and this one, the aplanatum. And they are related to the famous reishi of the Orient, which is said to protect the academic from their own mind, to ground us, to bring us into a higher level of function, to open our heart and give us better chi flow. So a lot of those same properties can be found in this. In fact, this is quite a commonly popular tea in Asia. This might be a little small one, but these can grow up to five feet wide. A large one of these is gonna produce five trillion spores. Whoa, that's a lot. Something like 30 million spores a day that one of these can release. That's for six months of the year. So because these are a perennial mushroom, they continually are growing each year and releasing more and more spores. That's huge. So we hope we can capture some of those today. Other things is this mushroom has been studied pretty extensively and they've shown it to have really good benefits for antibacterial functions against things like E. coli. This is shown to have a huge benefit. So it might be good for our digestive system. It's also quite anti-inflammatory. Another thing that this mushroom has been shown to be beneficial for is radiation therapy and chemotherapy. People using this mushroom have seen major benefits from taking it when they're going through these types of treatments. It's also got some anti-cancer properties itself, so a great one to add into that kind of protocol, as well as being one of the most anti-bacterial, anti-inflammatory mushrooms we know of. So cutting it up, making it into a tea is probably the best way to use it, and it's not that hard to find when you're in the right forest. Now this is a rarity. The top is protective. This front bit here is what's producing all the spores. I feel like it's just so special looking that I would love to just leave it and see it grow into its full form. This mushroom in the years to come should expand out and be like, boom, grow out to be quite a big one. There's a lot of weight to that. We're not gonna harvest this one today. Now, knowing that we see this on the bottom of the roots of this tree, let's have a little look further down this tree and see if we can find some other big artist conchs. Whoa! We are on a mother load of artist conchs right now. Now these big old trees often house lots of these. There's where we're getting that real high spore content. These sword ferns are going right through this mushroom. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wow! Wow! Oh, beauties! This is an old, massive artist conch. I would love to harvest that. So this mushroom stretches from here to here. Part of the reason I think we saw such a big fruiting body on the other side of this tree is because when the tree fell and all the chi from it going into this mushroom didn't have anywhere to go, it went over there to start fruiting again. Now gradually this one's reproduced a whole lot more fruiting body. This is one of the biggest and most beautiful artist conchs I've ever seen. I really like how it has fallen. It used to be on a tree like this. And then when the tree fell, it started growing like this. Now we got all kinds of spore on here. Just as another example of the, the amazing, um, I guess, adaptability of these kind of fungi. 
Now also, you'll see that in here underneath, we've got all this spongy part. Now this could actually be eaten. Mmm. In fact, yum. That's not bad. I hope you get out and find some artist conks one day. And if you do, remember that this is one of the most potent medicines that the forest provides. Treat it with respect, lots of love, and it may just be the perfect ally for you in your path to seeking health, vitality, and wellness.